So last time we spoke, we were talking about the World Economic Forum and Larry Fink and BlackRock and how BlackRock is using the World Economic Forum as a front to make tremendous amounts of profits while exploiting weaker countries and still remaining under the guise of being for the greater good of humanity and equality and climate change and the such. But I think because of what's going on this weekend with the SEC and the rallies that are going to take place across the country at different locations, because that's so time sensitive, I really want to talk about that a little more tonight. I'm not going to forget about the WEF. I already have a lot of that video downloaded, but I have decided to make a concerted effort to get my ass down to D.C., and there's a couple reasons why I want to talk about them tonight. And hopefully by the time this video is over with, uh, maybe it will help some others put their mind at ease to come out and join the rest of us. But before we do any of that and get way too far ahead of ourselves, cue the speeder. <laughs> One of the smartest pieces written on this today came from someone who was also not, strictly speaking, a financial journalist. He covers politics and foreign policy. He's Glenn Greenwald. He's an independent journalist. You can find his work on Substack. We hope you support it. And we were grateful to have him on tonight to explain what this means. You wrote a great piece on this today, Glenn. There's so much to say, but how would you assess what we're seeing with GameStop and the hedge funds? There are a whole bunch of different power centers in the United States, many of which we often openly discuss, the intelligence community, Silicon Valley, the US government, lobbyists. Obviously, one of the most important and powerful, if not the most powerful, is Wall Street and hedge funds in particular on Wall Street who are at the top of that food chain. And we almost never talk about how it is that they get to be multi-billionaires without really producing anything of value, just leeching right. off the American economy, taking huge amounts of money in exchange for nothing. Whatever you think of Silicon Valley, they get exactly. rich at least by producing something, whatever you think of those products. These totally people agree. produce nothing, they just take. But they're also getting dragged out into the sunlight. So for the first time, we're talking about people like Melvin Capital and Citadel and hedge fund short sellers and understanding what it is that they're doing to this country. And it only happened, Tucker, because the internet, a free internet, when it's free, enables citizens to band together in large enough numbers to challenge these ruling class elites. And that's why we talk so much about the imperative nature of defending the internet from surveillance, defending it from censorship. It is a very powerful weapon in the hands of citizens against ruling class elites. And that's why they're so bent upon seizing it back controlling it regulating it and censoring it good evening beautiful people guys what's going on it is sunday january 22nd 2023 and that interview between glenn and tucker was i believe the day after gamestop had its huge run and that buy button got jacked from us now i put in the thumbnail tonight that i think that this protest this rally is something that's much bigger than just AMC. And I've seen many videos out there from other YouTubers expressing their opinions. Some believe this is a bad idea. Some people think it's a great idea. Some people are in the middle. And you know, I'm gonna have to say, a year and a half ago when we were talking about this, I was against it. I was worried about delisting. I was worried about how close we were to the events of the 6th and being back in DC. But now, as we roll up on almost two years of holding these meme stocks, and after everything that retail has been able to uncover, and all of the due diligence and everything that we've been able to show and prove, we really have gotten little to no attention at all from mainstream media, from the SEC or Congress for that matter. Everything it seems that we have tried to push for has been shot down some of the proposals that would really help retail with that said because of the hard work of some individuals in this community that have gone out and legitimized this movement i think we gotta strike while the iron is hot there's never a better time than right now as we roll up on this anniversary 
And to be quite honest with you, I am sick and tired of sitting around on my hands. And if I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys, sitting around here making videos and whining on YouTube is not going to get anything done. The establishment is not going to perk up all of a sudden and listen because of some video that I made or you made that went viral. We need to get out there and make it known that we have issues with what's going on. Retail is alarmed at what the hedge funds have been able to get away with. And in all honesty, having a more level playing field, having a market that's based off supply and demand and fundamentals of a company would be good for the market. That would be a good thing to have retail investors investing their money in something they can put faith in and know that they're not being screwed on the back end. And we want to make sure that there's accountability for people who are breaking the law. If there are major funds out there who are using illegal tactics in order to short stocks or whatever the case may be, there needs to be jail time. Fines obviously are not working. If you're making a billion dollars off a trade and your fine is a hundred million, then 10 times out of 10, you'll take the fine. I think we can all agree that stiffer penalties are necessary in order to put an end to some of this malpractice that's going on. Now, I know a lot of you have expressed concerns about what could possibly go wrong during this protest slash rally. And I want to try to put your minds at ease in case you are worried about that, or maybe that's holding you back from going to one of the locations to protest. Let's just take a quick look back at the last 20 years and the amount of protests that have been held in DC where there was absolutely no violence or need for a police presence in the first place. This is a list from Wikipedia of every protest or rally that's been held in DC since 2000. And you can see the number of them, how many there have been. And just think back, how many times have you seen actual violence or has it even made mainstream media news because of violence and not because of the peaceful protest? How many people showed up and what their message was what they were protesting about. That's the story we want to get out there and the message we want to get out to the people. And so if we're looking back at the historical data, and I think that's a good place to start, the chances of something popping off this weekend in DC are slim to none. And that kind of leads me into my next point that I want to get to, which is why I think this is so important and why I believe it's important that some YouTube creators get down there. First and foremost, getting back to the point of shenanigans going on at the protest. It would be good if this was live streamed and of course recorded. Just in case there are any bad actors that show up, we will have some documentation, some actual video to show what was going on before and after. And we could possibly use that footage to identify anyone we deem suspicious. But it's even more important that this is documented for the future, for historical reasons. This could be the start of a major movement across the country, across the globe, of retail investors standing up and demanding change from the bodies that are supposed to be governing those who are screwing us. And I don't know whether you guys can see this or not, but right behind me here, I have my travel bags for my camera equipment and audio equipment, my sticks, Everything I need to set up, I'm hoping to be able to get there and get this rally on record for the community and for the next generation of traders that are going to come up behind us. And hopefully we're clearing the way for them to have better trading options and a more level playing field in the future. Mm -hmm. But if you're still looking for a reason to come out this weekend, it's simply just to support your fellow brothers and sisters, your retail investors, the apes. And the patriots who have drawn this line in the sand against corruption and manipulation and frankly taking a stand against a government and administration who has left us hanging out in the wind now for decades. And it's about time that people stand up and let their voices be heard in the capital city of this great country. So if you were having some doubts in the back of your mind or worried about what could go on this weekend... I hope this video brought you some comfort and you've decided to come out. Now, as far as my plans go, I have my room booked right now, but I need to get some money together for traveling and transportation and spending money. So if you'd like to help Mass get to DC, I'm not going to be bashful. I don't have a Patreon or memberships or merch stores like some of the other guys. So money is tight right now. 
Uh, but if you'd like to help out, I just ask that you maybe just hold any super thanks or super chats. Speaking of which, we're going to go live tonight at 9.30 or 10 o'clock, depending on when this gets up. But if you could hold those, and I'm going to put up information for Venmo and Cash App. I had to open those accounts for my fantasy football guys this weekend. So I have them. They're up and running. That would be a huge help to get me down there and situated um, so I can make sure we get this documented properly. And hopefully we take the first step in the right direction to fixing this broken market that we are invested in right now and hopefully we get some attention from mainstream media to wake up the rest of the country and the world for that matter on what's going on behind closed doors with our stock market all right guys so i gotta get ready for the live tonight if you happen to make it this far in the video thank you so much don't forget tonight live 9 30 10 o'clock we'll be going on talking about this next weekend coming up we can talk about wef whatever you'd like as always, guys, thank you for all the likes, the views, the comments, my new subscribers, my OGs. I appreciate each and every one of you. We're here to smash the wheel. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.